This is the second video that we're doing on the fundamental theorem of calculus. Uh, in the first video, um, we looked at this, uh, where we said d dx of the integral between a and x of f of t dt equals f of x. Um, and in this video, um, we are going to expand on that because one of the restrictions uh, in the first video type questions was that this has to be x and this has to be a constant. So what happens if either a the x is down here instead of at the top, and b, if that is not x, but it is some sort of function of x. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll go through this question one here, and there's three more questions um, in this video. We'll do question one in detail, and you'll see for question two, three, and four, we will be able to answer them by inspection. So let's go. Right, so um, the first thing is we need to flip um, the integral between... Uh, x squared and 4 and the way that you do any flipping of an integral in a definite integral is that uh, the integral between b and a of whatever g of x or dx equals minus the integral of a and b of g of x dx so all we need to do to flip the 4 and the x squared here is put a minus in front of it so basically um, d dx uh, of that equals d dx of the integral minus, sorry, minus the integral d dx of x squared and 4. So I flip the x squared and 4, so at least the x is now at the top, uh, e to the power of t dt. Okay, and the second thing we have to do is we have to worry about this because it's not x, it's x squared. Okay, so we're going to use the chain rule here. So we're going to let uh, u equal x squared, and therefore du dx equals to x just differentiating it okay so now what we're going to do with this here is this equals minus let's have a look at minus d du of the integral of u because u equals x squared we've said that and 4 of e to the t dt and then we are because that we're now doing the differential with respect to u we now have to multiply that by du dx and that's the chain rule. So instead of a d dx, we're doing d du times du dx, the chain rule of differentiation. Okay, so therefore, we, um, all we need to do now is this bit here is in exactly this form, except u has been replaced by x. And so therefore, the answer is f of u. All we need to do is replace the t by u. So that equals minus e to the u, times du dx, which we know is 2x, which equals minus e, and that's replacing u back by x squared, to the x squared times 2x, or put it another way, minus 2x e to the x squared. Now that is the answer to this question here. Okay, now what we're going to do is, let me just do a different coloured pen here. Uh, let's do uh, red. Why not? Okay. Let's have a look at this. Minus 2x e to the x squared. Let's have a little bit of a look at it. So let's rewrite the question here. d dx of the integral between 4 and x squared of e to the t, my bad, sorry, e to the t dt. Okay. And we know that the answer to that is minus 2x e to the x squared. Now, let's look at each of these different bits here. The minus comes from the fact that the 4 and the x squared are, if you like, the wrong way around. We need the x to be at the top rather than at the bottom. Okay, so whenever you see uh, a constant and a function of x, but where x is at the bottom instead of the top of the integral, you add a minus. This bit here is basically the differential of this and the final bit here is simply that replacing that with that so we could actually have answered this question here by inspection we could have said okay a the x squared and the four are the wrong way around so we'll put minus b we need to differentiate that which is 2x and c all we need to do is replace the t here with the x squared here which is e to the x squared. And there's our answer. We've got the three rules to answer that. Now we're going to answer question two using those three rules. 
Okay, so here's question two. Uh, anybody wants to do it, I'll just pause the video now. Okay, so we're going to use exactly the same three rules, and I'm going to answer this one by inspection. Right, first of all, the function of x is on the bottom instead of the top, so we need to put a minus. Secondly, um, we need to differentiate this, and that's differential of sine x is cos x. And thirdly, we need to replace the t by sine x, which gives us sine x log sine x. And that is the answer to that. We've done it by inspection. This is really quick. Let's have a look at question number three. Now, of course, you, you could just, before we go on to question number three, you could do question number two um, by doing all of this lot if you wanted to, the chain rule and all that. You, obviously, you'd get the answer. But if you're doing a multiple choice exam and you can remember this, you can do them by inspection. Okay, let's have a look at question number three. Question number three, d the x. And again, we're going to do this using this three-part rule. Okay, well, first of all, x squared is on the right side, so we don't need the minus. We have a, a plus. I mean, we don't need to write the plus in, but I'm going to write it in anyway. Okay, secondly, uh, we've got x squared, so we put the, the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. And thirdly, we just replace the t by x squared, which gives us x squared cubed minus 4 Oh, I missed the square root out there. Sorry, square root, which equals 2x, the square root of x to the 6 minus 4. Again, by inspection. Um, and finally, we have the final question here. Um, if you're uh, just pause the video. OK, so it, um, it wants us to find the derivative. We can answer this by inspection, but uh, obviously the derivative of g of x is, is g dashed of x, which is equal to g uh, uh, d dg of x dx, which therefore equals d dx of the integral between x cubed and 1 of t squared dt. So we, we sort of need to do that step, but now we can answer this bit by inspection. So rule number one, okay, the x is in the right place, so we have a plus. Number two, um, der der the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. And number three, just replace the t by x cubed, gives us x cubed squared. So the answer to that is 3x to the 8. So this is a very powerful way of solving these uh, questions, especially if it's a multiple choice question. Um, now in the next video, um, we're going to do the case where one of these numbers is not a constant. So it would be, for example, the integral between uh, f of x and g of x, um, rather than f of x and a constant. And again, there is a quick way to do this. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please uh, like it and also um, subscribe to the Gracie Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.